Assalamu alaikum and hello to everyone to today's troubleshooting tutorial video which is really a follow up to the previously posted problem briefing video uh, which we ha if you haven't seen it yet please do so now by going to the link at the video description below so in the previous video we've talked about a pneumatic circuit that needs to be converted into its electrical circuit equivalent or uh, a relay logic ladder diagram equivalent or even a PLC or logic module circuit with function block diagram so this pneumatic circuit as was explained earlier uh, consisted of a push button that is connected via an AND logic valve to a limit switch this is the first limit switch and there is a timer valve which is an on delay valve that activates the pilot of this DCV as the piston approaches the second limit switch so we were required to do the following convert this whole control circuit into an electrical circuit and further on to the other types so let us look at the circuit in its fluid sim environment where we can run it and see the actual uh, working environment here so as we press the push button the piston will be held for a few seconds and only then returns to retraction again as you push the start button the piston will be held for a couple of seconds due to the timer valve delay so we need to convert uh, the circuit into an electrical circuit which looks like this so we have a push button in series with the limit switch to resemble the AND logic so the piston is held for a couple of seconds only then it returns to retraction due to this on delay relay component and we have already replaced the second limit switch with its equivalent magnetic switch and of course this delay relay has its own special contact okay moving on to the third circuit sorry the second circuit which is the ladder diagram so again it is working in the same manner where the piston is held for a couple of seconds only then it is released so you can notice here that the second limit switch has been replaced by a read contact which is uh, also possible to be done using the magnetic switch we can also use a magnetic switch such as this yeah we can replace this by a magnetic switch as well and this read switch is basically uh, a make switch which is set to read contact so if you have a read contact like this and you give a label of for example 1b7 so it would look like this okay so let us troubleshoot some of the solutions that I have received recently and try to learn from these uh, mistakes so I'm, I'm, I'm having a solution right now submitted by one of the students and I'm going to run the simulation and write from the beginning I get the warning that there is duplicated or incompatible labels so and they are being highlighted by the software so I need to work around and solve these problems so first of all <coughs> uh, we need to identify that there are no repeated labels so we have a relay called K1 K2 and in the second circuit we have K2 again so I need to change the label to K3 and then 
change the corresponding contact to K3 as well. So this way we are avoiding any repetition in the labels. So relay one, K1, relay K2, and then relay K3. And then there is this relay, which is labeled as T2, because it is a timer, although it should have been uh, labeled as K as well. So we prefer, although this is not wrong, however, the better labeling procedure is to use the K symbol. So K4, and then I'm going to reach out to its contact and relabel it as K4 as well. Okay, so we have two relays with their contacts. Okay, I'm going to run the simulation. Again, we have some problem here. It says duplicated or incompatible labels. Okay, what is incompatible here? Uh, relay is being highlighted once again. I've already repaired the label, but it seems that there is some real problem here because a relay shouldn't use a push button contact. So this is a, a real problem that the student has misunderstood what is a relay contact. A relay contact shouldn't be a push button. So I need to look for a make switch, a make contact like this, and then relabel it as K3 and just simply replace this. So everyone should uh, pay extra attention to this uh, to this issue that for every relay there must be a contact which is compatible either make contact or break contact okay so I have fixed this already let us let me run the simulation again again I'm having a problem okay so the lim the push button 1s6 is being highlighted so I need to check whether there is any label that is being repeated so seeing the highlight here as well there is one s6 and this refers to a limit switch whereas this is a push button so I need to and this limit switch one s6 actually refers to to something in this circuit maybe which we will come to later on anyways so I need to relabel this so I have one, one S1, I have one S2, one S3, one S4, one S5, one S6, one S7. So this should be one S8. So this way I make sure that there is no repetition. Again, duplicated, incompatible label. So there, oh, okay, there is one S, one S8 already, and there is actually one S9 already. So I need to make this one S10. Okay, let me run. Okay, now the simulation is running without any errors. So I can test the first circuit. Okay, the circuit sounds fine, running smoothly. However, the function is not accurate. As we saw earlier that the pneumatic circuit had a, a timer delay and we don't have any delay over here. Secondly, that pneumatic circuit had a push button, push button, and we have a set button here, so this should be replaced. So I need to find its equivalent, push button. So I need to replace this by 1S1, and remove this set button, and just replace a push button here. So this was the first, first mistake. So a push button. Okay, there is no delay relay over here. We need to have a delay relay. So as this piston reaches out here, it activates the second limit switch and the second limit switch should activate a delay relay. So I need to replace this K2 by a delay relay, which is of type on delay. So I'm going to, I'm going to look for one, which is this. Okay, send this. To power supply 
and reduce the delay to 2 seconds and give it the same label K2 ok let me run here ok now we are seeing the piston is being held for about 2 seconds and then back to retraction note the contact of the K2 relay has been updated automatically by the software to reflect the type of relay that is uh, that it's connected to so we are uh, we are almost done with this circuit although there is still one mistake we were required to replace the second limit switch by a magnetic switch or even a read switch so for that I need to relabel it it is B we know that read switch or magnetic switch are labeled as B so it is 1B3 and this should be 1B3 okay it still it reflects a limit switch this is because you need to select read contact okay so now this reflects a read contact or read switch we could have also solved this using the magnetic magnetic switch so let, let, let me see we can run this smoothly now so the function is the same except the components are different okay let's assume that a student want to use the magnetic switch so we can just replace this by this kind of magnetic switch uh, make sure that there is a power supply connected to the switch and it has the appropriate label 1B3 and we can run this now can run this so it is working fine so this is the complete solution of the electrical circuit or else you can just use the read contact that we've shown earlier okay moving on to the ladder diagram okay uh, let us uh, see the function of this circuit as you push the start button nothing is going on why is that hmm. this is because the circuit is open so 1s7 1s7 is actually referring to this limit switch which is uh, not connected to the pneumatic circuit that we are concerned of so I need to relabel this it's not 1S7 it should be 1S4 this is AND logic in series connecting two contacts in series is resembling the AND logic so we basically are interested in we are interested in connecting the start button with the first limit switch so this should be 1S4 okay so as as you know it 1s4 is initially actuated limit switch so that's why the the make switch looks like a, a, a brake switch and this is the symbol of initially actuated okay now it's working <clears throat> okay the delay is quite long I need to reduce the delay time it's five seconds reduce it to two seconds and run again so it, the piston should be held for two seconds and then retreat back to retraction however it doesn't so there must be a problem okay there must be a problem so 1s4 and then 1s5 again 1s5 okay there is no 1s5 over here there is 1b4 which is wrong so this should be uh, by the way this is 1s5 should be changed to b5 okay b5 since we are using a magnetic or read switch so this 1b4 is wrong the label is wrong should be 1b5 okay now we run the circuit
okay again so the piston is held for two seconds and then retreats back to initial position so this ladder this relay logic ladder diagram equivalent circuit is working fine now after much of repair okay moving next okay I'm going to move this pneumatic circuit closer to our PLC or logic module circuit with function block diagram okay let us run this let us see this connection first <clears throat> first of all the PLC unit has no power supply connected to so this is a big problem uh, we need to connect a power supply to it so this has to be connected here okay now we have power supply positive negative and then we have two solenoids 5 and 6 connected to output Q1 Q2 and we have three inputs the first being a push button which is wrong already this is a, a contact so I need to replace this by a push button so push button should be labeled as 1 as 8 should replace this so I'm going to replace this and connect it to the same input okay so we have a push button and then we have our first limit switch 1s6 not 1s9 1s6 okay so it is initially actuated because the piston is in retraction and our second limit switch should be 1b7 not 1s7 so this is b and this should be 1b7 that's correct already and let us okay and it is connected here so this is fine everything is fine the electrical connection is completely fine now the pneumatic circuit is fine as well so we have one y5 one y6 corresponding solenoids are connected already here okay so let us run okay so there is duplication uh, lines through connections okay so we have the, we have spoiled the line connection here I need to remove this and connect it again however it doesn't look nice okay remove this label okay should be fine now yeah okay, I have a problem here Okay, run again okay now it's fine so let us look at the operation as you press the push button okay the piston should have moved so we might have a problem inside the PLC programming which is a function block diagram let us open this and we find what amazes us is that the PLC has no program yet so this is a big problem that a student submits uh, a PLC or a logic module circuit without any program inside it so <clears throat> let us start the program we need to connect these two contacts using an AND logic so we need to bring an AND logic here from the library look for an AND logic Okay, I found one so I need to connect and logic to this terminal and this terminal so input 1 is the push button and input input 2 is the first limit switch and usually the software has a setting which is somewhere around simulation I think yeah this one set open digital inputs 
of and logic nand logic not logic to high automatically so if you have the if you have this checkbox ticked already so this means if you leave this terminal open it is still considered uh, one the value is one okay so uh, again if you have that uh, option ticked then you are safe otherwise if you have it unticked then the and logic will be not working properly and assuming that you don't take this you can still work with this circuit by uh, supplying the high logic connecting high logic okay so this way still you can work with this circuit otherwise you can you can just set this on and you can do without this uh, high logic high logic means value of one is connected to the terminal uh, however you can it's always a better practice to have this high logic connected to the terminals that you want to make sure they are high or on set high that is having a value of one okay so we are done with this and I should connect this to the first solenoid which is Q1 which is Q1 okay the second solenoid should receive a signal from a uh, on delay function block and that is this one on delay function block some might choose this function block which is on off delay by setting this to zero okay it still works as well you can set the off delay to zero and it becomes an on delay function block however i prefer to directly use the simpler alternative which is an on delay function block set it to two seconds and then uh, connect the terminal connect a terminal which is i3 should be connected here okay anyway so we have a problem here i need to remove this I, I, I rather to reconnect this again doing it this way one two and then three okay <clears throat> so we avoid cross linking between connections and this goes to Q2 okay so I have my one I3 refers to the magnetic switch which activates our timer delay for two seconds and then for two seconds this signal will be held and only after that the output will be high so let us see now so as i push push the press button the piston is held for two seconds and then retreats back after that so now the circuit is working fine so uh, hopefully this uh, you find this video uh, handy and also uh, informative how to make uh, three equivalent circuits out of a pneumatic circuit yeah having a pneumatic circuit such as this how to convert it to an electrical circuit or its relay logic e ladder diagram equivalent circuit or even a PLC or logic module uh, with function block diagram so i hope that uh, this was informative enough and the troubleshooting that was shown in this circuit could be of much benefit uh, there is still one one thing left which is uh, this is a work of one of the students as well what, what i want to highlight is only one matter here which is the submission was quite good okay uh, the student is using a uh, read contact which is really fine uh, you can use a read contact you can also use the magnetic switch as I reiterated this more than once so you can use a read contact or even a magnetic switch so there is no problem so long the labeling is correct the only issue was when I opened the when I open the the inside of the PLC program 
I found that the AND logic is actually redundant. There is no connection with the outside except for a single connection. So this high function block is being connected twice. So this is redundant. Okay, we don't need this to be connected twice. So we need it only once. So what we needed was actually, uh, as you can see here, the second limit switch 1s9 is connected to input 6 and that input 6 should have been sorry uh, 1s8 should have been on a separate input okay so it should have been this way I remove this okay remove this and move this to another uh, input so maybe I uh, input 1 okay and this is connected to here so separating the inputs on the PLC connection or logic module digital module the connection should be separate every input has its own input terminal every input has its own input terminal so you need to identify I1 I3 I6 and then on the inside I1 should be connected to this terminal I3 should be connected to this. Now I1 and I3 are having AND logic which makes sense now. Two inputs being uh, AND logic and then the output goes to Q3 which is the solenoid 1Y5. So now it's working fine. So let me run this. So it is working fine. Okay, so there is a timer delay for a couple of seconds and then returns back okay so <clears throat> so I have repaired the circuit and one might argue that the circuit was already working why did we need to do this meaning if I have if I had left it like this you know if I had left it like this with such connection the circuit was working as well however uh, this is not the conventional way of connecting a PLC so if you have available inputs then you need to separate all the inputs here as I have shown it uh, just now so although this connection works well but it is not correct you need to have each input on a separate terminal yeah and you can just remove this by the way so you just connect Q to to I3, Q3, since it has no uh, benefit of having that AND logic, you are not using it inside, you are doing it outside. This is the AND logic. You are doing it in outside the circuit. So, need not have an AND logic inside. So, I can still make this circuit uh, function, you know, even after removing that AND logic. So uh, again, uh, this is the end of the troubleshooting tutorial video. So hope you find it helpful and see you next time.